Hello, beautiful souls. How are you guys doing? I wanted to take a moment here to say I love you. I love you so, so much. This video here, the purpose of this is to give you instructions to enter for a free reading to celebrate the channel hitting one year. October 6th will be one year. So free reading, you guys. I am more than happy to provide this, give you guys back a little bit of the love that you have shown me over this year. Um, I did also want to give a little bit of background to myself here in, in celebrating this year here. I, first of all, had absolutely no idea what to expect in getting this started. I was certainly not in a place where um, there was any way for me to be able to see that this, I'm already going to get emotional, that this would have been um, possible. Okay. <laughs> So for me, July last year, I was fired from a job that, um, well, was taking everything from me, time, my energy, um, hope, will to live, right? <laughs> Just doing what I needed to do to survive. And this was coming off of the coattails of a couple of years worth of tower moments that were very, very difficult. So, um, Yes, I started this channel actually in February last year, didn't post anything until October 6th because I was terrified and because I also didn't have the time or energy to put anything into this. Spirit, knowing this, <laughs> made the decision to remove that job from my life. I was fired in July. After three months of fighting for unemployment and looking for a new job, I was denied both paths. Um, in that moment, feeling completely broken and beaten down. I started this channel. Like I said, I wasn't in a place where any of this would have made sense to me. I was just following the instruction. My intention in sharing this is to set up the free drawing here, but to also share a little bit of my um, humanness with you. I know from reading comments, from doing personal readings for you all, which thank you for the opportunity to connect. Many of you are struggling with things that are very similar, have had things happen in your life that are very similar, may even be experiencing something currently where you don't have hope, where you don't see what's next. And I just wanted to say, please don't give up. You truly never know what may be next, especially when you're listening to that soft and quiet but strong voice that comes through to tell you to do something different, especially if it's super different, you guys. I encourage you to really balls to the wall, go for it because there's a reason that message is coming through, okay? So, for the reading, <laughs> what I'll have you do to enter, and thank you for hearing me on, on that experience. In the comments section here, as we're entering spooky season, as we're entering Scorpio season, what I'd like to know is, what does the energy of death and rebirth mean to you? And how is that playing out in your life currently, or has that played out in your life? Like I said, personally, I've had an aversion to letting death come through. As I grow here, though, Scorpio is very quickly becoming one of my favorite energies because it's actually beautiful to be able to release things and to let new things come through. So comment wise, let me know what does this energy mean to you? If there's a situation that reflects something similar to my situation, that can also be a comment to enter you. OK. So in three weeks time, I will pull uh, or draw a winner from the comment section. I'll get a hold of you guys and let you know you've won and we'll go from there. OK, I hope you guys have a beautiful spooky season here and I'll see you all very soon. Please take care of yourselves. Be well.